Alrighty, folks, I have updated thoughts on the Chinese spy balloon. There have been tons of revelations that have come out over the, the three days that I had missed. Um, and uh, I thought that the Chinese spy balloon story was a nothing burger to begin with because uh, foreign countries flying over and surveilling the United States uh, was perfectly normal until Trump unilaterally pulled out of the Open Skies Treaty, which I thought was a mistake. And so therefore, everyone on all sides, left and right, um, uh, you know, whether they were, uh, I don't know, Ted Cruz or Joe Biden talking about this and acting like this was some terrible thing and, and saying, oh my gosh, you know, Biden's so weak, he didn't shoot down the Chinese spy balloon. And, and, and the Biden saying, well, Trump let the Chinese spy balloons fly over America all the time when he was president. It was all nonsense. Uh, the reason why it would have happened when Trump was president was because Open Skies Treaty was in place. And um, even though it technically would have been illegal if it had happened under the Biden administration now, um, it still is not that big of a deal because um, obviously it's something that we allowed to happen for decades. And so I think if I went back and I didn't, I should have listened to the, I probably said something about, you know, hey, this this whole controversy probably it's just a, it's supposed to be a distraction from the Nord Stream pipeline. But I took on face value the the idea that this was a Chinese spy balloon of some kind, because that's what everyone said. And if everyone says it, it must be true, right? Well, I've softened on that. <laughs> Honestly, there has been, they've lied about so much um, since the initial balloon. Um, to me, I don't even believe that that initial balloon at this point um, was like trying to surveil uh, the uh, the U.S. Um, ground surface, whatever. I don't think that that was the purpose of the balloon at this point. And I I'm saying that my my I've softened on that based on the nonsense that we got in the follow up to it. So once they shot down this balloon, then the Biden administration went nuts over the weekend, uh, shooting down a bunch of other balloons, and. When that happened, uh, and, and it's, okay, I have to slow down because there's a lot of nonsense to unpack here. When I saw that they were shooting down other unnamed objects, that to me was just mass hysteria. It's not that the Chinese, I knew that the Chinese were not just sending over, you know, an armada of balloons to attack the United States. That wasn't happening. That was not a reasonable thing to assume. What was a reasonable thing to assume was that there was some kind of mass hysteria and now maybe they were shooting down every weather balloon that they could find um, and that they saw every balloon they thought was a Chinese spy balloon. And it would have been one thing if the Pentagon came out and said, hey, we just shot down a bunch of suspected Chinese spy balloons. You know, we want to err on the side of caution and we'll get back to you when we find out what they actually were. And... Um, that's not what the Pentagon said. The Pentagon said that we don't know what these objects were. We just know that they violated our airspace and apparently Canada's airspace, because even Justin Trudeau got to uh, shoot down a Chinese spy balloon, or or actually they were being called by the media UFOs. The, U, the, the media was using the term UFO. They weren't even using the military term UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. Um, they were using the the old-timey 1950s Unidentified Flying Object acronym. And one of these Pentagon shills who were on the conference call during the Super Bowl asked the Pentagon, hey, can you guys at least uh, rule out the possibility that these were extraterrestrial craft, since we're all calling them UFOs, and that's what everyone thinks of? And the Pentagon said, no, we're not really willing to rule that out. Um, that, to me was the, the last straw. It was all bullshit. I knew that the Pentagon had not shot down uh, three flying saucers, coincidentally, you know, a week after they shoot down a supposed Chinese spy balloon. It became clear to me at that point that this whole thing was a psyop. And um, later on, we got confirmation that the original Chinese spy balloon uh, was supposedly being tracked by the U.S. ever since it was uh, released by the Chinese into the air. So ever since the Chinese blew up this balloon and let it, you know, rise up into the sky, the Americans had been tracking it. And it seems more and more likely that this really was just 
a weather balloon that was blown off course. Because if they were willing to lie so thoroughly about these three or four other weather balloons that they shot down uh, in the uh, succeeding week, why would I assume that they are telling the truth uh, about the uh, very extraordinary circumstances um, which occurred the previous week? I mean, the Pentagon wouldn't even rule out that this was an extraterrestrial craft that they shot down. And I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm, I'm so, you know, I, I'm lay enlightened Reddit atheist and I know that aliens don't exist. All I'm saying is if there were aliens that made it here, they're not getting shot down by, uh, by F-16s with missiles. Okay? I think they're a little more advanced than us. And so, based on that, I knew for a fact the Pentagon was deflecting and... Uh, full of shit. Now, it seems m more likely than not that these were just domestic civilian weather balloons. It's w one of them, they think, uh, was launched by a hobbyist group. And so, at this point, I have to accept the likely reality that there never was any Chinese spy balloon. There was a balloon, and it does seem that it originated in China. But I, I highly doubt it was spying on anybody. This was all a ruse to distract you from the fact that the United States, it is now confirmed, blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. That the U.S. committed an act of international terrorism against another NATO ally. That's the real story here. And the federal government diverted the public's attention from that story for two weeks by talking about balloons which from the beginning i will remind you i thought it was very silly and i thought it was stupid and i thought it was a distraction and a psyop i said this is a psyop i just don't entirely understand how i don't understand the full the full scope of the psyop but it's definitely a psyop that's what i smelled well now i think i fully understand it my initial suspicions about it at the PSYOP were wrong because I did accept the whole thing about, oh, this is China spying on us. And I just said, well, it's, you know, it's a PSYOP because they're, they're making, they're pretending like the Open Skies Treaty never existed. Turns out the Open Skies Treaty didn't even matter because the Chinese, I don't think, went that far. So with all that said, I hope I never have to mention another balloon on this channel again. Um, so I will see you folks back here tomorrow.